So here's a nodule on the sun damaged scalp of an old guy or an old woman. Let's not be, let's not be sexist here, okay? Women can get these too. But, um, but what this will be is a red scaly nodule clinically. They're gonna think it's a squam. They're gonna shave it and transect it across the bottom. And then you go look at high power. And it's gonna be like atypia out of control. Big pleomorphic ugly cells, huge mitoses, tripolar mitoses, stick figure mitoses, all the atypia you could want, right? It's gonna be real ugly. So what do you do with the real ugly spindled cell tumor filling the dermis in an old sun damaged person? What's your differential? AFX. AFX, atypical fibrosanthoma, everyone's favorite, okay, what else? Spindle cell squamous cell carcinoma, yeah, poorly diff squam that's spindled, and what else? Melanoma that's spindled, and occasionally angiosarc can be solid and spindled, not, usually you'll see vascular channels, but I've seen a few that looked a lot like an AFX, so I always actually now include a marker to rule out melanoma, SOX or S100. I include um, P63 or P40 to rule out spindled squam. I usually I'll do a keratin too, but you, you don't have to do that. Um, and then I include ERG or CD31 for vascular. I don't like 34 as a vascular marker. It's negative in some angiosarcs, and it's also dirty and nonspecific. And then uh, also I usually will include Desmond because I've seen rare examples of uh, uh, rhabdomyosarcoma in the skin. Quite rare, but quite aggressive. So I, I'm paranoid. The more stuff I see, the more paranoid I get. So. I'm gonna be a real problem in 10 years, but I'm married to a psychiatrist, so that will help, I think. True story, I really am. Um, and she's given me permission to use her as a joke in every talk, so there's no HIPAA violations here or anything. So anyway, you do all your stains and they're negative, okay? I don't like any of the other stains, like CD10 and Pro Collagen. I just feel like they're also nonspecific. If you wanted to turn brown, do a Vimentin. Vimentin will turn everything brown, and if you wanna know my views on Vimentin, I got a YouTube video about that too, and I'll tell you, uh, Spoiler alert, they're not positive views. I do not like Vimentin. I don't think it ever, ever helps. I've never seen it change a diagnosis in any case ever in, in all of fellowship and practice. So I don't ever use it in my practice. The first order of business in my lab was to have them cancel using Vimentin. So, but I know some people who do, and that's okay. And if you do want something to turn brown, that's your, that's your antibody. Pick Vimentin, it'll turn it brown, okay? In any case, um, but you, I've got to, I'm getting old. I've got to have some curmudgeonly pet peeve. So instead of yelling at kids on my yard, I yell about Vimentin on YouTube. So, you know. We all got our thing. The, how do you tell apart oh, AFX from uh, an undifferentiated sarcoma, entity formerly known as MFH? We don't use that term anymore. It's ancient. We call them undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma. They look the same, they stain the same, they have no specific positive markers, but the difference is real important because behavior is different, okay? It's all about the size and depth. If it's a big lesion going down in the subcutis, it is not AFX, it is a sarcoma, okay? And the term that people have recently used, although it's confusing, is pleomorphic dermal sarcoma. The weird thing about that is you only call it that once it invades the subcutis. So I don't know, but I'm not, I don't write these, these rules. I'm just telling you. So what I do in my report is I say pleomorphic spindle cell neoplasm, atypical fibrosanthoma versus pleomorphic dermal psychoma, right in the line, which I'm sure they were like, versus, how can you do? But that makes them read the comments and say, what the, what's this guy talking about? And I say, you got to re-excise this and see how deep it goes. If it's down in the fat, on the head and neck of old people, about 30% of those metastasize, behave much more aggressively, AFX, even when they're ugly as sin, if they're confined to the dermis, it's very, very rare to get metastases or aggressive behavior. Either way, you need a wide excision or Mohs with negative margins. But when they go down in the fat, they should be regarded as a fully malignant sarcoma, okay? And some people think that some AFX are actually spindled squames that have de-differentiated and lost all markers. We have no real good way to prove that. But I think of them as like pleomorphic sarcomas that are just arising in the skin. And when they get big and grow down in the dermis, we call them sarcomas. But the, I think this is a big problem I see practicing pathologists and derm paths even make is they'll say AFX and it's widely transected. And I think it's important to let the dermatologists and the treating physicians know, hey, this could be a little bit more um, of a problem than your regular old AFX, which a lot of like old school people think, oh, it's a benign, atypical, but benign, you know? So it's important for them to know that they got to have the whole thing out. And they're almost always transected just like this. Um, no. It's spamming us in the middle of our recording. Worrisome sign, okay.